Yo, what's up guys, Network here. Today we're gonna to be going over the leveling and gearing process of how to get yourself into arena on a rogue. Cause playing a rogue is super fun and uh, I've done this a million times so I thought I could help some people out. So first step, you're gonna be doing slave pens, level 58 to 65. I'm under the presumption that you run GDKPs on your main and this is an alt, so you already have gold, you're not worried about that. Once you get to level 65 or 66, depending if you want to get the Nagran quest and do the Ring of Valor or whatever, that's fine. But if not, you can just download weak auras and boosters will move you in and out and can literally farm honor on your main. So I recommend having a second account. This took me one day and 21 hours. Not too bad. Um, honestly, the process is pretty quick. But now the games begin. Once you get 70, there's a lot of ways you can get gear and it, a lot of people are confused on what to do. So let's, let's hop into that process. So the first thing you're going to want to get orders of Lady Vash. This is going to give you your helm enchant, which is going to give you attack power and hit. Um, get a friend. You can kill the first four guys pretty easily. Reset instance. Or you can run Steam Vaults. That's up to you. I prefer this route. Sometimes on some of my rogues, I've gotten a first kill. Others, it's been 20 to 30. So. All right, the next step, you're going to want to get the quest out of Tenaris for the Hydral Attunement. You're also going to want to buy Belt of Deep Shadow off the Auction House. They're pretty cheap. Getting Exalted Sword and Rings, super OP. And there's Kara Runs you can also do before doing this part. Uh, I've never seen the Sword Drop, and I've also never seen the Mace Drop. So that's why I'm highlighting these kills, because I'm over it. <laughs> but off this boss, you really want the Neck, you really want the Cloak. But mainly, you want to get the Quest items, because the Ring's huge. Um, I personally think the chest and leg stats are insane. So if you can get the chest for cheap and the legs for cheap, um, as I'll show you in my current gear guide that I use for my rogue, that's literally been 70 for like a week. It's huge. Um, I kind of wanted this ring and then, uh, I was like, yeah, I'll probably go like up to 4k on it. And immediately these guys just started going crazy. I'm not used to people being this rich. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'm not going to be able to afford this, but I think this ring goes for... I don't even remember, maybe 30,000 gold, which I know it's like abyss for a lot of people, but Jesus, I don't even have that. So, but this is just kind of highlighting GDKPs, people waiting for their payouts, people bidding on stuff. Um, if you're new to GDKPs, there's a lot of Discord groups. You can join groups and at the end, you actually get a payout. So even though I was a fresh character, um, because I went to Imp Expose Armor, I actually get paid out. Literally, I think what I paid for my chest anyway, but it's important to note. All right, now you, you've finished that. You're going to now turn in the quest. You're going to get a pretty big ring, which I think is actually super clutch. And for a rogue, honestly, you're going to need it anyway because you're going to want to farm high jaw rep eventually. So I'm kind of just showing you where to run to. <laughs> I was confused in the beginning. I've only done this on like two rogues now. But yeah, so that, that run didn't really go as planned. But I ended up doing a couple more next week or the following week. This was the week before the season ended, so I was trying to really bust out some gear, but it just didn't work out in my favor. So the Rock and Aldor Sword, Emerald Ripper offhand, not great. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, this guy's a fresh 70, and we're just trying to get him as geared as possible. All right, so we turned that quest in. Let's go to the next part. All right, this is what I would call BIS for, you know, a fresh 70. I mean, this guy's now three or four weeks old because we've had a little bit of downtime but I was able to get the shoulders because I got my twos up high enough with arena points. I bought season one gloves. You rock tier five chest, tier five legs. You can get them pretty cheap now, not that there's three tokens. The main one is you really want to farm your bracers and your boots. And then I also farmed S1 swords because I never saw a weapon drop. So, you know, this is kind of how you can gear out. Uh, so we have the quest ring and then mag head ring you can get now for like a thousand gold as well. Uh, it's pretty good, but if you can get the hit ring out of SSC, I'd recommend that. Belt of Deep Shadow. But I'll have a link down below with 70 upgrades. This is just how to gear out pretty quickly. I'll go over my spec. This is just basic Shadow Step spec. But you know, a lot of people, if you're new to Rogue, you're interested in Rogue, uh, Enveloping Shadows is really good for resisting Frost Novas, but you can still run 5 and Deadliness. It's your choice. But yeah, this is. Uh, I thought this would help some people out. Uh, my goal is to help you guys. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, look, it's Johnny Tsunami. He's uh, an undercover rogue. Get the BGs in. I'd say bracers, boots are your main priority for farming honor. Um, and then the gloves because they're cheap. And for you guys, you'd want to get the shoulders as well. So peace out, guys.